Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. I, I normally give you a, a, a 101 lesson on uh, custom crappie tying, but uh, I've had a bunch of questions about the boat that I actually use. Uh, it's a Craig Cat. It's a, the model is a Catch It, which is the fishing edition. And uh, people have been asking me about the pontoon issue that I had with them. And so anyway, I'm gonna show you the pontoons and how I repaired them and uh, some other upgrades that I made on it. Be right back. Okay, here it is, 2010 uh, Craig Cat, 11 and a half foot pontoons. Uh, I'll show you some stuff that I added to it and how I repaired these pontoons on it. Uh, first off, up here, I replaced the little thin plastic uh, splash shields with a, probably, a, I think that's a quarter inch, smoke colored. Uh, just kind of what I found online, kind of cut the edges down right here uh, to knock off the sharp points and stuff, kind of make it uniform. I've also put a motor guide XI-3 on it. That's a 55 pound truss motor. I have also put a 100 amp lithium battery right here that you can run all day long and it's still got power, love it. I came to the front of the boat and I went ahead and I winched it down in front right here uh, to the trailer because I had some warping going on on the pontoons which the warping was right in this area right here. And it was kind of bowed down. So I went and put two by fours here and here. And then I came to the back of the boat and I ran a strap on it and strapped it down where I've got more of an arch in it right now. And right now it's, uh, it's straight, if not elevated just a little bit in this area right here. But anyway, that's what I did for my pontoons because these boats do sit on the trailer a long time. The design of the trailer uh, is not that good as far as I'm concerned. I was a trailer manufacturer at one time. That part I do know real well. I do run a nine inch Garmin up here. Live scope compatible, but I'd rather fish and mess with electronics all day. Uh, but that's a good one right there. There's my uh, transducer mount right here. It just drops off into the water, no problem. This mount here is just for an accessory mount and there was one missing on the other side over there. So I took this one, just cut it in half, took that half, put it on the other side. Drilled a couple of holes and there you go. Now I've got mounts on both sides. On the back of the boat, I did run drain plugs, stainless steel. It's what I had. Don't like stainless and plastic together, but I did it. And so anyway, for right now, I'm pretty sure it's going to work fine. No problem. But the big question is, uh, how'd you fix your pontoons? Well, what happened was I had holes in my pontoons right here and a small one right over here. And so I covered those with E6000 and uh, got that finished. But I still wasn't getting up on plane like I wanted to uh, with two people in it. One person, no problem, two people. It was struggling really hard on the engine to get it up on plane. So I came and cut a three inch hole right here, took a pry bar, went in and just started prying all of the foam out from right here all the way to the back of the pontoon. So I cleaned all of that out and uh, hopefully that's going to fix the problem. I used a two-stage um, closed cell foam. So when you mix the two parts together, you pour them in and that foam will expand. That's why you see these two holes up here because they're expansion holes. If you don't have those drilled and you pour the foam in, chances are you're going to blow that pontoon out. That being said, the way I tested to see if my foam was, where the foam was in my pontoons was I take a flashlight and I put it right against the plastic uh, all the way down and wherever I saw a echoing uh, big white spot in here uh, that's where I knew I didn't have any foam I could move it down a little bit and then the 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 beam on the light would shrink up real small I knew I had foam in that area but from right here all the way up to right here there was no foam on this whole side right here so I drilled one, two, three more holes. Started pouring foam in the back one, and then I poured foam in this one. And then to finish it off, I poured foam in this last one up here uh, because I had foam in this area here, so no problem. So I filled up this whole side. When I capped it off, I used little plastic caps to, to put on here. And then I used JB Wheel plastic up on top. But when it dried, it came out real rough and real wavy. So I sanded it down and I went back with E6000 on top of it. E6000 is waterproof. Uh, it can take vibrations. Uh, gasoline won't mess with it. So I thought that was really cool. 
So anyway, I'm fixing to go try the boat out pretty quick and see if that helped my, uh, my problem about getting up on plane. The other thing that I did, here is that other plate that I was talking about that I cut from the other side and mounted here. And so I put my rod racks right here on it and they work pretty well. I like it. And then also I have a fishing seat up front. This is on the catch it edition. They'll have the mount already on it. Uh, I may have told you, but that is a uh, 100 amp lithium battery with a motor guide XI3 mounted up front and is mounted back to the deck of the boat. I just built this box and waterproofed it all in. So there you go. Uh, that's pretty much the gist of the whole deal. Uh, I'm gonna take it out in the next day or so, try it out, see if it helped me out any by replacing that foam and that right pontoon. And so I'll keep you updated. Uh, if you would, like, subscribe. I've got some more videos coming out on some more custom jigs. Thanks, bye.